Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the friends, who are not native speakers, you can turn on subtitles. Unlike the DC brushless rotor, the induction rotor has no magnets, just stacked steel emanations with buried peripheral conductors that form a shorted structure. Currents flowing in the stator windings, produce a rotating magnetic field that enters the rotor. In turn, the frequency of this magnetic field as seen by the rotor, is equal to the difference between the applied electrical frequency and the rotational frequency of the rotor itself. Accordingly, an induced voltage exists across the shorted structure, that is proportionate to this speed difference between the rotor and electrical frequency. In response to this voltage, currents are produced within the rotor conductors, that are approximately proportional to the voltage, hence the speed difference. Finally, these currents interact with the original magnetic field, to produce forces, a component of which is the desired rotor torque. As we watched in the last video, this is the diagram, for nonlinear speed cascade control of induction motor. The feedback signals to the controllers, are D-axis stator current ISD, and Q-axis stator current ISQ, and the electrical velocity omega E. There are three current sensors to measure the three phase stator currents I, IB and IC, as shown in this figure. The transformation of the three phase currents to their components in alpha beta frame, is achieved by the Clark transformation. To obtain the current feedback signals ISD and ISQ in the DQ stator reference frame, the following PARC transformation is used. Similar to the operation of PMSM. In a normal steady state operation of an induction motor, the ISD and ISQ currents are regulated to their operating points. An encoder is used to measure the angle of the rotor theta r. Its differentiation leads to the angular velocity of the induction motor, omega m, obtained as the feedback signal for the PI controller of the velocity. Using the information theta r to calculate theta e and the reference signals stern ISD and stern ISQ, based on the integrated variables. In the last video equation, this is the estimation of synchronous angle theta s. The controller's outputs are the D-axis stator voltage USD and Q-axis stator voltage USQ. Similar calculations are used to transform the USD and USQ voltages, to the three-phase voltages, as inputs to the induction motor. Basically, the US alpha and US beta are obtained via this calculation. That US0 represent the zero sequence component of three phase voltage, which is zero for a balanced three phase voltage. Then, this is the inverse Clark transformation. From this dynamic relationship of the induction motor, as seen in the last video, it is noticed that there are nonlinear coupled terms in the dynamic model. Therefore, feedforward compensation, will be used in the current control system design. The strategy to control the electromagnetic torque of an induction motor, is based on PI control of the stator currents ISD and ISQ, in order to eliminate the steady state errors for the current control systems. The first step in the control system design, is to determine the reference signals to the current control loops. Thank you for watching, in the next video, we design a PI controller for the DQ axis current controllers. Please help us to get ahead here by subscribing, the number of subscribers for this channel, does not give us the courage to continue offering something.